Hello. We are going to take two deep breaths and start with a prayer. I'm going to start with the prayer from Lesson 163 because it's beautiful. Dear Father, bless my eyes today. I am your messenger, and I would look upon the glorious reflection of your love which shines in everything. I live and move in you alone, God. I am not separate from your eternal life. There is no death, for death is not your will, God. And I will abide where you have placed me in the life I share with you and with all living things, to be like you and a part of you forever. God, I accept your thoughts as mine, and my will is one with yours eternally. Amen. I love that. So we are on lesson 164. Now we are one with him who is our source. Now we are one with him who is our source. What could be better? And now in this moment, now we are one with him who is our source. What time but now can truth be recognized? The present is the only time there is. Thank you for spending it with me. And so today, this instant, now, we come to look upon what is forever there, not in our sight, but in the eyes of Christ. He looks past time and sees eternity as represented there. He hears the sounds, the sense of I'm sorry. He hears the sounds the senseless, busy world engenders, yet he hears them faintly. For beyond them, for beyond them all, he hears the song of heaven and the voice for God more clear, more meaningful, more near. All right. Sorry about fumbling that all up. The world fades easily. The world fades easily away before his sight. The world fades easily away before his sight. Its sounds grow dim. A melody from far beyond the world increasingly is more and more distinct. An ancient call to which he gives an ancient answer. You will recognize them both, for they are but your answer to your father's call to you. Christ answers for you, echoing yourself, using your voice to give his glad consent, accepting your deliverance for you. How holy is your practicing today as Christ gives you his sight and hears for you and answers in your name the call that he hears? How quiet is the time you give to spend with him beyond the world? How easily are all your seemingly sins forgot and all your sorrows unremembered. On this day is grief laid by for sights and sounds that come from nearer than the world are clear to you who will accept today the gifts he gives. Who will today accept the gifts he gives. There is a silence into which the world cannot intrude. And this world is trying with the refugees and the political, uh, it's just a cesspool of attack right now with the war, with Paris, with ISIS. It's just, it's heartbreaking. There is a silence into the world which cannot intrude which the world cannot intrude. My nose itches. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. So, there is an ancient peace you carry in your heart, and you have not lost this. 
There is a sense of holiness in you the thought of sin has never touched. And this is in everyone, everyone. All this today you will remember because we are one. Faithfulness in practicing today will bring rewards so great and so completely different from all things you sought before that you will know that here your treasure is and here your rest. This is the day when vain imaginings part like a curtain to reveal what lies beyond them. Now is what is really there made visible while all the shadows which appeared to hide it merely sink away. Now is the balance righted and the scale of judgment left to him who judges truth, and in his judgment will a world unfold in perfect innocence before your eyes. Now will you see it with the eyes of Christ. Now is its transformation clear to you. Brother, this day is sacred to the world. Your vision giving you from far beyond all things within the world looks back on them in a new light. And what you see becomes the healing and salvation of the world. The valuable and valueless are both perceived and recognized for what they are. And what is worthy of your love receives your love. While nothing to be feared remains. Now here's the doozy. We will not judge today. We will receive but what is giving us. From judgment made beyond the world. Our practicing today becomes our gift of thankfulness for our release from blindness and from misery. All that we see will but increase our joy because its holiness reflects our own. We stand forgiven in the sight of Christ with all the world forgiven in our own. We bless the world as we behold it in the light in which our Savior looks on us and offer it the freedom given us through his forgiving vision, not our own. Open the curtain in your practicing merely by letting go all things that you think you want. So open the curtain in your practicing by merely letting go of all things that you think you want. Your trifling treasures put away and leave a clean and open space within your mind where Christ can come and offer you the treasure of salvation. He has need of your most holy mind to save the world. Wow, there's birds all. It's very interesting. I would show you, but the camera's hooked up. Okay, sorry. So he has the need of your most holy mind to save the world. It is not this purpose is is not this purpose worthy to be yours. Is not Christ's vision worthy to be sought above the world's unsatisfying goals? Let not today slip by without the gifts it holds for you receiving your consent and your acceptance. We can change the world if you we can change the world if you acknowledge them. So let not today slip by without the gifts it holds for you receiving your consent and your acceptance. We can change the world if you acknowledge them. You may not see the value your acceptance gives the world. That doesn't matter if you see it or not. But this you surely want. You can exchange all suffering for joy this very day. Exchange all suffering for joy this very day. Practice in earnest and the gift is yours. Would God deceive you? Can his promise fail? Can you withhold so little when his hand holds out complete salvation to his son? Can you withhold so little when his hand holds out complete salvation to his son? Another beautiful lesson lesson 164 now we are one with him who is our source what time but now can truth be recognized so live and joy today
Have a beautiful, beautiful day. We're going to take two deep breaths and say a prayer. I'm sorry my nose itches. Dear God, please help me to remember to stay in the moment and to celebrate. Help me to live in joy as you would have me. Help me to be connected to you. Help me to be who you would have me be. Do what you would have me do. Go where you would have me go and say what you would have me say and to whom, dear God. God, I thank you for everything. Help me to be a light in this dark world today. Help me to be a conduit of of freedom and joy and happiness and love. I love you, God. Amen. I love you. Have a beautiful day and thank you. Spend time with God. Yay.